Fixed. <laughs> hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. And I was in my save file, I ended up way back there, but I saved here, dang it. Anyway, doubles match time, baby. Oh yeah, I'm ready for that. And uh, you'll notice that Tiny is not so tiny, he's a bodybuilder. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I don't really think that uh, power is everything, as I said before, but he will absolutely help, to, help them to make potential eagles here, so... <laughs> so they have potential for some low scoring, and thus what I'm planning on doing here, because it's probably going to be a much longer match than before, is I am going to be splitting this match in two, probably. And by the way, this is the remixed music from Tiny's theme song in the original Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color. If you didn't know that, so good times, we get to hear these awesome songs all over again in a new 16-bit form. <laughs> anyway, Azalea's up first, and she's gonna maybe plunk him in the bunk- oh, that's, uh, that's maybe worse than the bunker actually, because that's on the slope. Well, come on, Neil. If you get us a birdie, well, if you get me close, I'll get us a birdie. And then we can get one ahead on the first hole. This looks pretty good. Roll out, roll out, roll out that mill tank. Okay, well. <laughs> that looks good. Alright, Tiny. Let's see what you got. Well, since it's, since it's got so much power, uh, I like his voice. <laughs> but since he's got that so much power that the upslope doesn't hurt him that much. In fact, it might actually help him because it gives him a higher trajectory. But, you know, higher trajectories make the ball much more susceptible to wind problems. So that might have been what happened on that 60 mile per hour wind going on there. Alright, I would like to make this putt here. So, silence from the audience, please! Got it. <laughs> Victory is ours! Alright, so that's a good start. Alright, Neil, put us in good position. And I'll get us on the green in two, hopefully close to the hole. Mm, that's really good, actually. Look at that, right between the cactuses and everything. Perfect a position to get to the green in two. All right, Tiny, use all your power to hit in the rough. See, it's not about the power, it's about the accuracy. Uh, although, I would say in this Mario Golf, we are about an equally uh, perilous situations, I guess you could say, because they're both relatively far away for our, our positions. Like, I'm on the fairway and need a forward, but they're in the rough and further up, so we'll see how things go. Mm, this actually looks like a pretty doable shot with their, even their trajectory, because they got a really good lie there. But we'll see how she hits out of there. Uh, that's decent, but I don't think Tiny's going to make the putt. It's so, so long. I mean, he might make it. He's, he is known to make these sorts of putts, but it's so long. Whoa! Ho, ho, wow! <laughs> we have ourselves a good match. Alright, Neil. You better not miss. <laughs> there we go. Another birdie. For the first tie of the match. And I expect there to be more ties, because they are a much tougher duo than anything we faced thus far. I'm going to try and maximize as much of this as I can out of this shot, because the wind is going to push me back. And I'd like to try and reach the par 5 and 2, because, well, they will be able to make this par 5 and 2. So I'm trying to push the limits here, if at all possible. Uh, see, it's only 449 yards, which is very easy for Tiny. Well, okay, maybe not in the rough. Well, we'll see here. Uh, oh, and he's got a cactus in the way, too. Well, he can't make the green, but Neil can. Uh, that's that's all right, I guess. Heavy side slope, but otherwise workable. Uh, uh, Neil, Neil, you better carry that. <laughs> you're going over the water. 
<laughs> that was so close. <laughs> okay. Don't don't do that to me again, Neil. I've <sighs> Don't don't try a shot like that. Go for the fairway. Although you can't hear me. You can't hear me, unfortunately. Uh, oops, I'm gonna have to change, yeah, out of approach, because I'm on a, a high slope. I'm gonna go past the hole and then backspin, because it's so, such a high trajectory that I should be able to do such a shot. Uh, Lola might just slam dunk into the hole, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Alright, looks good. We are in much better position. <laughs> so that's why it looks good to me. But they're gonna get a par anyway. See, now in the matches, you can't you can't just get by with pars all the time. Oh no 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 no! This is where this is where the birdies have got to come in so that you get your points. And there we go, another one for us. And mm, hmm, this is a tight pin location that I think I can manage as long as I super backspin it. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I also use a smaller club with power to get a higher trajectory. Oh, that's beautiful. That's too much... Well, it's fine, I guess. I was gonna say that's beautiful because they end up right next to the pin. But as long as Neil doesn't move the cursor, you know that trick. Um, we should be just fine overall. And Tiny is... No. No, that's... No, you gotta get it there. <laughs> um... Well, she'll be... That actually looks really good at the way she hit it. That could, that could be a... Uh, I was gonna say it could be chipping potential, but it stopped too quickly. Alright, Neil! Let's get us another point! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> you know, I said they're a tougher duo, but... And, and they are, but I... I... I, I don't know, I was behind... The, on the, the... The Sherry and... Yeah! <laughs> the Sherry and Grace match at some point, but well... I don't know. By the way, there's this little smidge of fairway over here that you may or may not want to hit to. You know what? I'm going to try it, just for kicks. Because this is one of those risk-reward shots to uh, try and cut strokes off your game. Can I land on there? I want to hit the rough. Oh my god, I hit it! <laughs> That's just insane! I never go for that! I don't know why I decided to try going for that. I guess for fun, but... Because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not that dangerous of a position if you miss that fairway or anything like that over there, because it's still a straight t shot to the green. You just hit over the cactuses and stuff like that, but yeah, that was one of the best drives I've ever hit, I think. Uh, that is one of the worst shots I've ever seen Neil hit. <laughs> well, you win some, you lose some. Luckily, the win some is on my portion. <laughs> Uh, that's a scary low trajectory. Yeah, I was gonna say, they better backspin that. Mm, I should say, she better backspin that. Okay, uh, should I putt this? I'm thinking no, because of all the slope there. I think I'm gonna just leave it like that, not gonna move the cursor, and hope for the best with a little backspin. Because it's gonna have some rollout. I don't want it to get too much rollout, because then the slope will take it virtually off the green, so... As much as I wanted that chip in, it's not worth the risk. Because look how large those arrows are. And as you still, as you've probably noticed, the larger the arrows, the more break there is. And they parred, and we are most likely going to par as well, as that's only a 6.5 foot putt. There we go. And that's going to be pretty easy to hit to that pin location. So I'm going to just put us in good position. Well, put Neil in good position for us, and hope for the best. And yeah, there we go. I didn't hit it exactly where I wanted to power-wise, but it's usable. Alright, do your worst. Look how much power he's got there. This is why they are able to hit power fives and two, even on a course as long as this. So you definitely want to get your scores as high as you can because, oh, just in the bunker, huh? Because when you've got uh, the potential of, you know, them making eagle and you not, when they make eagle, you're going to go down a point. So if you have some cushion or, you, you know, you just, you're just trying to make up your score later on or whatever like that, you just want to get holy poopers! 
<laughs> nice shot, Neil. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically what I'm saying is that on the holes that they're able to eagle, uh, you want to be able to make it, make up for it other ways, like birdies on other holes that they would otherwise make pars on. So keep your consistency going, and you will win this match. They should be able to make that putt because it's pretty straight in. They don't have to move the cursor at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good speed, too. Just right in there. But, but, yep, birdie's not good enough sometimes, you too. <laughs> it all depends on how they play. It's a doubles match, after all. Ooh, okay, so Neil is first. That means I'll have the shot to the green. As long as he puts me in good position, like I say all the time when he's up on the tee, I should be able to pull off a really good shot on the green. That's an awesome position, it's like right before the slope and everything, so it is it's pretty much as good as it gets. Like, it's not down in the valley where the slopes could be a factor, it's not in front of a cactus, it's just right, right on the edge where the clearing is. Mm, well, tiny. Let's see what you got. And... Well, well, that's not bad. But I can do better than that. You know, the impact area I'm gonna change. And I'm gonna do Super Backspin to control it. The wind is going to push it back. It's gonna bounce forward once and then do the backspin. Watch, watch, watch. There it is. <laughs> Did I not call it? Oh... I called it. So she's doing a bump and run to three wood. That is a common shot to use in real life. Ooh! <laughs> that was a great shot. <laughs> and yeah, that is something that you can do in real life. Try it with a wood or a hybrid or something like that. Any of your low lofted chunky monkey clubs and see how it goes. Um. Uh, you, you might find drop and stop to be better. Who knows? Who knows? It all depends on your style. What I know, though, is that I'm going to try and bounce it on the... Ooh! ooh. That's not exactly what I wanted. He, and that's going to make Neil chip. Because they don't seem to putt off the green all that often. But anyway, yeah. Um, around the green, try and find the shot that works for you to get close to the hole. It's, just head out to a course. Their practice screens are almost always free to use. If not, go to one that is... <laughs> the practice screens are there for people to do their practice stuff as well as you know draw people in and whatnot so that's why they that's why they tend to keep them free for use it all works out for everyone because then everyone could practice any time and whatnot so it turns out to be great for everyone and then to see what you can do maybe you want to do like little flop shots with a lob wedge maybe you want to do the bump and runs with a hybrid or a three wood, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I'm talking too much about real life golf here, <laughs> but I guess I could actually work for this game as well because, as you've seen, if you do, if you hit a low shot and are able to run it out, you know that that'll work just fine too, you know, as long as it goes in or near the hole. It's a results based game, so it doesn't matter how it looks, just as long as you get where you want it to get to. All right, so oh, she's not actually to go for that island over there, really. Interesting. This is front tees and everything. Okay, well... Well, maybe Tiny can make... Mm, I was gonna say, maybe Tiny can make the green and two from there. Ooh, I gotta do some some shenanigans here. Uh... Oh, can I, like, get away with... No, I can't. I was gonna say, maybe I can get around the, the cactus the other way. Ooh... I don't... I probably shouldn't go for the green and two here. So I'm, I'm not. I'm just gonna curve it around safely, and there we go. But yeah, the, the shots that you, you can use in real life also can be used in the game, as I was saying, so again, find whatever works for you. Uh, like, you can even use a 3-wood to a putt tight pin location. To do that, you've got to hit it short of the green so that it gets caught up in the rough or a bunker or something like that, so it loses all of its speed and then just happens to bounce on the green. Which is an ent entirely possible shot to do, and that's what I've done a couple of times uh, uh, in this walkthrough already. Oh, what? Oh, that hit the cactus! <laughs> I didn't see what happened there, because the cactus doesn't show in that really close overhead screen there. Mm, well, it looks like they are going to be getting a par 
So if, say, Neil gets within range, this looks like birdie time. And, you know, par 5 should be the holes that they should be dominating on because of their distance. But no, not this time. They kind of they kind of flubbed it up from the drive. Uh, because the, the drive just put him in a bad position to start with. And at least, like, even where Neil put me at the start, I, I was able to work with it to an extent. I couldn't get on the green in two, but I was still able to get in, get us into a recovered, uh, workable position. And there goes another hole. But, since I've hit 15 minutes, I'm gonna end off the part here after, well, they do their shots, I guess. <laughs> because, you know, it's still double so I, sh I guess I should have stopped it at over at the metal screen, but, well... I got a little too clicky happy with that and whatnot, so yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be my shot next anyway because they're gonna outdrive us like crazy because they have the high drive distance, but nah, they ain't gonna be in the bunker. So with that, I'm gonna leave you a cliffhanger for the rest of the match. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I finish this match, even though it's probably not much of a cliffhanger based on our scores. <laughs>